is the part where I'm supposed to say a bunch of cool stuff like, Hi, it's your girl here, Jessica, aka Jess Stewart, coming at you with a brand new YouTube video. But that was painful for me to do. And uh, I refuse. YouTube intros are, uh, they're not my thing yet anyways. So let's just get to what I do know how to do. And that is my eyebrows. Sidebar, if you wanna make this really fun, uh, take out your alcohol of choice and take a shot every time I say product. So here is the current sitch with my brows as they are. I'm gonna be going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Spoolie. This is actually the brow definer, but I'm not gonna actually be using the product here, mostly because I'm not smart enough to be able to use it correctly. Anastasia, it's not you, it's me. But basically, you could use any spoolie here, and I'm just combing the front portion of the brow upward and taming down the back unruly areas. Next, I'm going to take this Luxie 215 Small Angle Brush, my NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade in the color Espresso. I'm just gonna put that brush lightly into the product. I'm using the lid to wipe away any excess product. I'm gonna start by drawing a line on the bottom side of the brow. Ugh, what am I doing? That is not where you need to draw that line. That's okay, I will fix it. I will actually spend the next 40 minutes of your time fixing it. So there's that. I'm just going to be using small feather-like strokes, creating a hair-like texture on the back end of the brow. I don't want too much product here, so I really am taking my time, really trying to distribute this product evenly. Notice that I haven't even gone to the front section of the brow. I'm really focusing this pomade only on the back. I do not want anything to look too heavy. I think brows look best when they have a nice gradient effect. Darker toward the outer portion of the brow and fading into a nice light color, really opening up the face and not creating any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go back in with that spoolie and really just try to distribute the product evenly across the brow. I know it looks like I'm wiping off everything that I just did but I promise you it's all gonna work out in the end. Now to fix any patches that I have going on, I am gonna go in with my Morphe 35N palette. You could use any palette here, but this one just happened to have quite a few brown tone shades. I'm gonna select something that's about two shades lighter than my brow pomade to really just help with that gradient effect that we talked about earlier. I'm also gonna use this to create a few brow-like hairs in the front portion. Portion, portion of my brow um, and also just to fill in any patches that you may see and I'm really just lightly lightly putting that product where it needs to go. To carve out the brow I am going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I'm going to take a small Luxie flat brush and I'm going to just gently ever so gently tap off the excess product. I sound so official. All right, I'm gonna carve out the underside. Of the Whoa, Jessica, what are you doing? I, I'm struggling here and this brush is playing me. Ugh, I've gone too far. That's okay, that's okay. It's gonna be all right. In comes this brush to save the day. Dun, 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 dun. All right. This is actually an acrylic brush that I got from Walmart. I got a whole pack of these things for like $3 and they work better than most of my small angle brushes. If you wanted to get closer to your skin tone, you could probably use something like a MAC Paint Pot. This is the color Painterly. This would have been a much better choice. I think we can be honest with each other guys. I really, did not know what the hell I was doing with that concealer on the bottom. So just going back in with that Luxie small angle brush and pushing down some of that concealer that crept its way up into my brow. To clean up the top portion of the brow, I'm gonna be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and my handy dandy brush here. I'm just going to be lightly dipping it into the product and wiping off any excess. I'm starting out pretty high above the brow here because 
Foundation is a little bit more runny than concealer, and I do not want any of that product messing up all the work we've just done. I really don't want a situation like I had earlier with the underside of my brow, so I'm being extra careful here. It's much, much easier to work your way down and fix any errors than it is to actually go into the area that you've shaded with pomade and try to fix it from there. All right, here we go. Next, I'm going in with my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I have actually never used this before, but I guess I'm all about living life on the edge these days. So I'm going to just lightly put this through my brow hair. You really don't want to mess up what you've done so far. So don't push this as hard as you did with your spoolie. At this point, you're just trying to set the brow. You're not actually trying to create any kind of shape or distribute any other product. To really make sure things are all set in place, I like to just gently tap on the eyebrow and just push in any of that extra gel that may be sitting on top. Do this very lightly. You do not want to smudge anything. All right, guys, that is a wrap on my eyebrow routine as well as my first YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let's get to know each other a little bit. If you have some brow products that you might recommend or something that you're using, or if you want to just tell me how great or horrible I did, just leave a comment down below. You can find me on all of the various social media platforms. I have them listed for you. I'm not going to pretend that I have a catchy sign off phrase, so I'm just going to awkwardly sidestep out of here. Goodbye.